Every year at the NFL Combine, participants are given the Wonderlic test, an intelligence test that is composed of 50 questions on math, logic, reading, and English. The average Wonderlic score is a 20. As I looked through the Wonderlic scores of current and past NFL players, one score especially caught my eye, Ryan Fitzpatrick with a 48 out of 50. At first, I was surprised, but this score is actually characteristic for Fitzpatrick. Before entering the NFL, he graduated from Harvard with a degree in economics and also did extremely well on the SAT, having scored a 1580 out of 1600. The only NFL player to score a perfect 50 out of 50 on the Wonderlic test is Pat McAnally, who is a former Bengals punter and wide receiver, and also a Harvard grad. So this settles it, right? The smartest player in NFL history has to be either Fitzpatrick or McAnally. Well, not quite. Many NFL players tout academic achievements that far surpass merely scoring well on a test. Myron Roll is one example. He graduated in just 2.5 years from Florida State University while maintaining a 3.75 GPA. He was also a Rhodes Scholar, through which he spent a year at Oxford and earned a Master's in Medical Anthropology. For those of you who don't know the significance of the Rhodes Scholarship, it is the most prestigious postgraduate scholarship with an acceptance rate of 0.7%. Being a Rhodes Scholar is more impressive than getting a perfect Wonderlic score, a perfect SAT score, or even a 4.0 GPA. After completing a year at Oxford, Roll was drafted in the 6th round by the Titans. His NFL career didn't last long as he spent 2 years with the Titans and 1 year with the Steelers before he retired in 2013. After leaving the NFL, Roll earned his MD from the Florida State University College of Medicine and is now a neurosurgery resident at Harvard Medical School and Massachusetts General Hospital. He is also making an impact by treating patients from this current pandemic. John Urschel is another good example. Before entering the NFL, Urschel was a stellar student, graduating with a 4.0 GPA from Penn State with a bachelor's and a master's in mathematics. He was awarded with the William V. Campo Trophy, which is commonly referred to as the Academic Heisman. Ursha was drafted in the 5th round by the Ravens in 2014. After playing 3 years, he retired and since then has been pursuing a PhD in mathematics from MIT. Even before MIT, Ursha published several papers and already has a theorem named after him. This is an example of one of the papers he co-authored back while he was still in the NFL. After he graduates from MIT, Urshel will likely pursue a career as a math professor. With Myron Roll and John Urshel set to be a Harvard-educated neurosurgeon and an MIT-educated mathematician respectively, I would without question consider both of them smarter than Fitzpatrick and McAnally even though they scored slightly lower on the Wonderlic. In fact, both Roll and Urshel could be seen as the smartest player in NFL history when their careers are all said and done. I wouldn't be surprised if Roll developed a revolutionary treatment for brain cancer and if Urschel won a Fields Medal, for example. However, they are still relatively young. As of now, I would still put them behind former players that have more complete resumes. Charlie Johnson, for instance, was a professor. In the middle of his 15-year NFL career as a Pro Bowl quarterback, Johnson earned his Master's and PhD in Chemical Engineering from Washington University in St. Louis. After he retired from the NFL, he eventually became a professor in Chemical Engineering at New Mexico State University. Frank Ryan took a similar route. He earned a Master's and PhD in Mathematics from Rice University in the middle of his NFL career. He was also notably the last quarterback to win a Super Bowl with the Browns when they beat the Colts 27-0 in 1964. Ryan would then go on to teach at various universities including Case Western Reserve University 
Yale University, and Rice University. He started as an assistant professor at Case Western and ended his academic career as a professor of mathematics at Rice. So Frank Ryan and Charlie Johnson were both professors in rigorous fields, which automatically puts them both in contention for the smartest player in NFL history. However, there are also former NFL players that have demonstrated their intelligence outside of academia. Alan Page, a Hall of Famer and the first defensive player to have won MVP, graduated from the University of Minnesota School of Law while in the NFL. After retiring from the NFL, Page worked in brief stints in private law and as an assistant attorney general. Page was then elected as a Minnesota Supreme Court Justice and became the first African American to serve in the position. He remained on the Minnesota Supreme Court until he retired at the age of 70. In 2018, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Blaine Nye, a former Super Bowl champion offensive lineman, earned a bachelor's in physics from Stanford before entering the NFL. During his time in the NFL, he earned a master's in physics from the University of Washington and a master's in business administration from Stanford. After retiring from the NFL, Nye earned a PhD in finance from Stanford. He is the president and founder of Stanford Consulting Group, where he has performed economic analyses and has testified as an expert financial economist at multiple trials. Charlie Johnson, Frank Ryan, Alan Page, Blaine Nye, and all the other players I've mentioned in this video are each impressive in their own rights, and one could probably make a legitimate argument for most of them. However, there is one former NFL player who stands out the most, and who I consider the smartest player in NFL history, Byron White. White excelled at every academic stage of his life. He was first in his high school class, and again class valedictorian at the University of Colorado Boulder. Like Myron Roll, White was a Rhodes Scholar and studied at Oxford before entering the NFL. After his rookie year, White enrolled at Yale Law School. Before finishing law school though, White went back to the NFL. He ended up playing only three total seasons, but led the league in rushing in two of them and was named first team All-Pro twice and second team All-Pro once. After the NFL, he served as an intelligence officer in the Navy during World War II before returning to Yale Law School and graduating top of his class. He would then go on to have essentially the best law career possible by first serving as a law clerk to a chief justice of the US Supreme Court, then practicing in transactional law at a private firm, then serving as the United States Deputy Attorney General, and finally serving as a justice of the United States Supreme Court. White served on the Supreme Court for 31 years before being succeeded by Ruth Ginsburg. So Byron White graduated at the top of his class in high school, college, and at Yale Law School. He was a Rhodes Scholar and became a Justice of the United States Supreme Court. I don't think any current or former NFL player can match that.